Hello again. The next operator within our calculate list is going to be the clamp operator, which has also a very basic job to do. And that is to clamp values. So let's say that we do have this cube within our viewport and we need this cube to move a certain distance in a certain direction. And of course, we don't want this cube to exceed a certain distance. So the clamp adapter in this case is going to be a great help. So let's see how. First of all, let me create a null object and uh, this null object, let's move it in the um, Z direction and uh, let's change the display to maybe circle or maybe triangle. Uh, let's make it larger. Now, when I move this null object in the X axis, I want the cube to move with it, but I want the cube to move a certain distance and stop at that certain distance that I will specify for it. So let's go to the coordinates and let's just move it. I want it to stop here, maybe in the, you know, 200. Okay. I, w I don't want it to exceed this 200 uh, uh, value in this direction. So let's just go back to the world zero and let's drag the null object into the uh, Expresso editor view and let's extract the coordinate position position X and let's just connect it to the value of this clamp operator so we want to test the value of the null object so the next thing that I will do is to specify a minimum value and a maximum value which will be the range that this cube will move in between so uh, the minimum value, of course, is going to be zero because I want it to start from here. So the maximum value is going to be 200. And that's it. Now let's just grab this cube to the editor view of Expresso and let's extract its position X and connect it to the output of this clamp operator. Now let's just move the null object and of course the cube will move with it, but it will stop in 200 and the null object will continue moving but the box will stop at 200 so this is what clamp operator does for us thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one